guys i honestly just woke up but this is gonna be our reset uh, post vacation reset because this is day two that i've been back and it's honestly been back to the grind very chaotic but we love it it's not that chaotic but the intention this time is to be very strategic with our time do not waste your time on like spending like two extra hours at work. I don't want to do that. I want to be very intentional with that. So that being said, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Palmena. I just do like lifestyle, life in your 20s unfiltered, and just like how to deal with navigate through life in your 20s, whether that's like relationship, that's like corporate world, that's side hustle like any of those things just like follow along my journey because we're all here to learn and grow so yeah and i love documenting this because who doesn't like to know who doesn't like to look back at these memories so if you're new i just came back from my wedding we did um it was in albania and we went to bulgaria to see my family um i'm bulgarian so all, all my grandparents live in Bulgaria and then we went to Italy for three days and it was very crazy so I'll insert some pictures here of Italy I'll insert some pictures here of the wedding because it was honestly like so beautiful and breathtaking amazing like I can't even believe it and then Bulgaria too might as well so I'll insert some pictures of that as well and it was amazing lots of fun it went by so 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 quick and yeah so Today is Thursday and I'm having this breakfast. Oh, uh, so I'm having tomatoes, I'm having eggs. I had two eggs with um, like just cream cheese. And I put a lot of olive oil and vinegar. It honestly looks awful, but I love it. Don't judge me. And just before I, um, I came, I came back like two days ago, we came back. And I want, I know I haven't been working out for a full month, this is like, one of the first long breaks I, I took ever off, like not working out since probably eight or nine months I've been working out consistently, pretty much four to five times a week. And I did another in body scan and you can tell, I was like, let me just face the truth right now. I don't want, so I don't want to do a scan in like a month and be still slightly under, for example, what my progress was but then i don't know where i started so i wanted to do a baseline test to see how my weight is my muscle mass and my body fat and work my way up from here because i know uh it's gonna be more discouraging later so let me just face it right now honestly it's kind of sad but it's okay we worked through it so the biggest thing let me show you because the biggest thing is the fact Look at the last one where it says the top one is my weight, the second one is my muscle mass, third one is my body fat. So basically, I lost four pounds. But then if you look under, I also lost four pounds of muscle, which is so incredibly hard to build. So that is that. So then as a result, my body fat went up. So that is it, honestly. I was kind of disappointed but i mean it's not that big of a change i'm just surprised how fast i lost the muscle that i struggled so hard to build but it's okay we'll work through that so my intention and my focus is going to be to build lots of muscle and uh how by eating lots of protein because um i have not been doing that so i'm going to be tracking my protein intake to build lots of muscle so that's why i'm having like three eggs and lots more so let's get going y'all y'all today's friday so we are in the offices every day now it's like a thing we do this all the time now day five honestly yesterday i was absolutely destroyed exhausted i did a workout at 6 30 at 45 and it was great but honestly it was like it was like the resistance was pretty high i tried to push myself a bit i definitely didn't do as good as i thought i would but it's pretty much my second workout back so <sighs> i think i told you guys about the fact that i lost four pounds of muscle so that's not great but i'm reading the uh the book um the gain or gap the gain or the gap 
are you in the gain or in the gap i don't know what it's called right now but everything you do is pretty much an opportunity either you win or you learn it's always a good thing so this is a great opportunity for me to get back on track and to regain all the muscle so it's an opportunity for me to like track my protein so many ideas and one thing honestly you get that perspective especially when you're um like coming back from vacation i have this perspective of like you know what i've realized it's that every time you're consuming so much content like podcasts audiobooks like tiktoks instagram like i'm consuming so many things and it's so hard sometimes like you know what to do but like it's so hard to stick to something because it's like this overwhelming feeling and like now i'm trying to like be super intentional i listen to something if there's something I really want to take away I try to make a mental note and then right away when like I've stopped driving I'll make a like I'll write it down in my notes app and then I think I'm gonna do like some sort of brainstorming sesh after where like all the habits that I've thought would be just useful for me um I'll pretty much like try to find a way to implement them into my schedule because otherwise you're like oh yeah you should do this 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 no take whatever you can and then go from there so I think we're gonna have a great week only thing is this weekend I am working all three days so Friday Saturday Sunday so I'm gonna try to be very intentional with my time I'm gonna create a uh, to-do list and we will go from there and then what I did is I only have one bag now my uh, purse Oh, yeah, my purse, and that is it, and then I have my lunchbox, and I'm not taking my work laptop home, I don't think it's healthy, whatever I do, that's all I need to do, and that's it, so, gotta focus on creating content, and trying to, like, be healthy, and be a healthy human, because my MBA is coming, so, I need to prepare for that, too, so, let's get it, guys, happy Friday! so late but at least we did our hair okay you guys today is friday happy friday first of all let's get excited it is a great day i have not vlogged in 80,000 years but you know what who cares like let's just get right back into it i have so much to catch you guys up on first of all hello Woo. i know what you're thinking is this your wedding ring no oh my God, this is the aura ring love it um that took forever so that took like two years to like actually decide commit to get it so super excited i got it a couple days ago but that was a whole whirlwind whirlwind of roller coasters because essentially they um shipped it to the the the, the UPS delivered it to the wrong place and then I had to go and like complain and get a new ring and then they reshipped it so I got they actually shipped it to the right spot UPS delivered it to the right spot so that is so exciting you don't even understand like I have been so excited and like just like I think the main thing why I'm excited is like accountability to sleep on time and I have a thing that's gonna track it. Be like, hello, Plumena, you have not slept. Let's go to bed. Anyways, I am late for work, so let's go. And I also got a bunch of new clothes that I will probably do like a review of like, like a capsule wardrobe because like I'm getting all the essentials. Like all the things you need. And now we can mix and match. I mean, I spent a lot of money, but let's not talk about that. I mean, we can talk about that honestly i think it's fairly reasonable because if you measure it from like a cost per wear perspective it's really not that bad because i know i'll be wearing these all the time and they'll be super useful i was gonna say useless but let's not say that anyways and then today's casual friday i'm not that casual i just found this like it's like kind of like a cool blazer it's like very chunky and comfy and this is like one of the shirts that i got and then i'm just wearing my levi's jeans um 
that's it so black and white and today we're working at double so you know casual fridays fridays are always like this so let's get it let's go y'all Okay, y'all, we haven't vlogged in a while, but we've gotten back into the groove of it. I did my workout and look like a crazy person, but you know, the usual. Okay, no, seriously, I look like a, like, okay, I, actually, it's so funny because I took a shower last night and I did, I put, um, uh, what do you call it? I put castor oil because I thought my hair wasn't thick enough, I think. It is thick enough. Anyways, okay, so like it's a little bit wild, but regardless, we love it. Honestly, I'm kind of learning to like love myself more and like, I haven't vlogged in a while, but I feel like I've gone through more like moments of like introspection and I'm kind of loving it. Like I haven't vlogged in a while. Like seriously, like I haven't vlogged in like a couple weeks now and adulting is weird. Like, it's so weird. I have so many things to say, but I am think I'm getting back into the groove of things. Like, so right now, how do we feel about this setup? I hope we love it, because this is the only setup that works in my car. Anyways, so what we're doing is I, okay. So I think I'm getting into a good routine of like filming, editing, vlogging, living life, um, because my editor, is actually editing way quicker so we love it and i'm getting vlogs in quicker and like i'm just feeling more like into it you know what i mean like into the, like the i have an acronym it's called f r p s f r p s so it's like filming wait what is it oh my god my brain okay it's like filming reviewing so it's actually like pretty much like my main priority is filming and then youtube he'll get stuff edited to me and then after it's posting which posting means like thumbnail tags hashtags uploading to youtube and then finally the last one is scripting so any anytime i like have time to script the the thing that requires the most like organization is probably filming because you need to like have the good light the good the good face the good makeup the setup the hair the uh but actually it's honestly not that like ooh. um and then what else do we have uh, sorry guys well i know the last thing is pretty much scripting which is just like and i figured out a new technique like oh my god i have so many things to catch you up it's so weird because like you don't need to know my life but i feel like i need to tell you and i feel like this like transfers at work and i don't want it to transfer at work i want to be pretty not quiet but just like don't tell people things i don't need to tell them because i feel like they can use it against me which is honestly awful so try to keep it together my vlog in a long time so we need to vlog way more often so i'm doing the part honestly like uh, i feel like i'm finding new ways to like be better with myself and i love it so much like you don't understand like i feel so much more, like more like at peace with myself i don't know how to explain this so um i'm doing ali abdel's course um of like the part-time youtube uh, how to be a part-time youtuber it's like it's called the part-time youtuber academy and um it's super cool like super interesting super insightful and i think this is like my realization like sometimes you need to invest you need to spend money to earn money i feel like like there's only sometimes like there's only so much you can do and like failing forward and trying different little things to figure out what works and what doesn't like because you like the so he he gave me like a good, there's so many it goes from like camera confidence to foundations it's like a huge course i was like you know what no one needs to know how much money i'm spending but honestly i'm doing this for me i feel like i've worked so so hard for my money and like with all like my side hustles like i feel like if there's anything i should spend money is like in a course to learn more and invest in myself and be better like if there's i, I know i'm trying to justify it i know y'all i know you're catching on but still like i feel like i'm still i'm learning i'm growing i'm implementing the things and that is so powerful um so 
essentially just like there's a lot of money but i feel like i i'm mixing the best of all worlds which is one um which is one absorbing it and i'm doing that usually in um in the mornings so usually on my way to work i'm mixing you know when like usually people see things as like a like a setback they'll be like hey like oh my god like um like we have to be back in the office for five days a week and i'm like you know what this is an opportunity it is a blessing in disguise i don't care what you think i don't care what you say it is a blessing but everyone's gonna see it as like a setback but i'm like no this is an opportunity for me to learn and previously i was listening to audiobooks but then now with the course i'm like obviously i know i'm not gonna spend too much time at night the night time my night time needs to be my action time my action forward time and then during the day like in the morning for example i can just do like like i can just focus on like absorbing the content so on my way to work that 40 to 45 minute like drive that i have i can just like do just like i'll just put it on my phone and i'll either just like listen to it um i don't really watch it because obviously i'm driving but i'll listen to it mainly so that i can just like move it forward and i'm learning so much like there's so many tricks on like camera confidence on like how to talk like how to talk with your hands um there's drills there's games there's equipment like ali like abdul like his course i can link it but i really don't care if you guys buy it or not it's just like a great freaking amazing course and like he really walks you through the like the most basic steps like as like a beginner youtuber like what you would do here what you would do there how you set up your phone how to take a thumbnail how you'd post it and like just like all the basics that you know but with like extra insightful details like that's how i'd say obviously like i think the main takeaway oh my god yesterday i was listening to ramit's podcast i can show you guys over here anyways but like the main thing that i've that that he said just and like this just like blew my mind but i know it's true it's like i know what i'm doing is right um i'm not i know i'm on the right path but like Ali's course will help me accelerate it. And in Ramit's podcast, he just said like, it's all about you being like, he was talking to this one couple about their money mindset. And he was telling them how it's all about being coachable. Like you can know all the tips and tricks in the world. If you're not implementing anything, it doesn't really matter. Or like, like you, you know how like we you know, on TikTok, like there's so many people, there's coaches on this, on that, on life, on uh, how to grow, potato seeds like i don't know pumpkin seeds and how to do garden and how to like be more confident and how to be healthier and how to drink this and do that like if you don't like actually like implement if you watch a like a thousand videos and you implement like one as opposed to if you watch 10 videos and you and you actually implement three things like that's the thing it's all about being like intentional so that's kind of my new goal i have like so much to say i am sorry guys i feel like i need to catch you guys up on all the things that have been rolling through my mind and we're gonna film lots more because like i have so much to say but let's go home i went to shoppers to drop off her stuff i can do a little small haul here it is also it's a week before i'm starting my mba which i haven't even talked to you guys about i haven't even talked at all i've talked to myself like we need to get this going again we love it uh, I feel like just I'm learning to be more of like my own best friend and I love it and like learning how to like like myself and organize myself and grow and be all the great things you know I'm literally sitting in a parking lot and actually they like got a new cactus club here they opened one in Crowfoot actually now you know where I live but anyways, uh, it's pretty lit. I'm like staring at it. It's right there. Anyways, I went to shoppers too. We got a new internet thing. Um, anyways, so with that, and I, okay, my trainer at this one time at a 45, he told me this tuna thing is really good. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. So at our shoppers, this like tuna with lemon. It's not this brand, but apparently it's really good. It has so much protein. It has 18 grams of protein in one can, I think. Yeah, we love it. So 
Honestly, I've been craving tuna for so much, so I got that. And then I got gum. And can we just talk about the inflation in like Canada or Calgary or whatever it is? This cost me like six fifty. This was like used to be like four dollars or three dollars. Like gum? Why is gum so expensive? Like I'll buy gum like every like five months, and I'm like, geez, like this is insane. But oh well it is what it is and i think that just like shows that like times are crazy and you gotta like figure it out anyways I've, i'm just gonna keep talking this is gonna be more of a talkie walkie talkie vlog we're gonna add some more b-roll because we've been talking so much but it's gonna be a great day Hey guys, we're at Costco. We got food. Hey guys, we went to Costco and I got apparently this collagen powder. I saw it. Apparently, it's really good. So I'm excited to get it and put it in my coffee. Plus, it has nine grams of protein. So I'm excited. We got bananas. You know that we got raspberries. Like oh yeah. Here? Oh, that's a good idea. Anyways, and then we got figs and we got and then I got the Alani the energy drinks So I'm super excited to try them and then we also got the um, tortellini and bananas So all the essentials essentially Hey guys, we finished our grocery haul. We went to Costco You saw all the essentials we got If you had to guess how essentials? much essentials Essentials, yes um. Okay, it's the August 31st is the last day and you can tell like fall is coming and like winter is coming and you can feel the vibes and so since we were so on budget <laughs> we went to buy stuff from costco and now we're over budget usually we spend around 800 and that um, that thing we bought there the like eight items that was 199.99 and you know how what how like how much i guess i guess 194 so i was very close and then we got ice cream so i've been going to the gym for like five times a week and i got ice cream now so that's kind of like counteracting all my gains okay. so um yeah i'm gonna save the other half for like tomorrow or something because i don't want to eat it all in one day it's too exciting because like the portions are so big like this is like huge you know just like smells like consumerism like if this was like two portions it'd be perfect you know how's your ice cream Smells like consumerism. No, you know what I mean. The girl that bought it, you know, I was gonna spend fifty bucks. Yeah. To bring you around two hundred. One ninety nine. Okay. Also, I got the Alani drinks. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try. What about those. the essentials? Just the essentials, yeah. And I'm wearing my new shirt. The shirt I got from like the other day. Not the other day, but like. It's a really nice shirt. I love the color. I don't know where it's from. I got it from the consignment store. It was like such a good deal. So yeah. Yeah, that is it guys. And today's Thursday and it is the last day of summer. Not really, but it's like August 31st. So like it's getting folly and we're getting back into the grind mode. Oh well. Summer's Please, over. you slept all day. Shh. <laughs>